All right, well, this is our setup for boiling. We're gonna see how this pan works out. It's a shallower pan, but a little bit bigger footprint than just like a pot that I have. But uh, we got our sap over there. We're gonna get this thing lit up and uh, start, start boiling. It's gonna be a long, boring process. All right, we'll see how graceful we can dump this from that big container into this here. Could have gone worse. All right, I'll crank that burner right up. I think it'll put out some serious flame. You can go. So it's spilling over the edge. I think that's a little excessive. I need to dial it back quite a bit. You can dial it back just about to nothing. I think we're gonna go somewhere in the middle. Try that right there. So we got the sap in there. We're just gonna let it get up to temperature, start boiling. Once it's boiling, you get some good steam coming off of it. You slowly just add a little bit of sap. Well, we're definitely getting a boil going. And it didn't take long either. Not with a flame like that under it, I guess. So now we'll just keep uh We'll keep an eye on the level of the sap and uh, we'll just keep adding a little bit of the sap from the bucket as we go as we see the level drop. And then we'll have to start paying attention near the end, um, basically get the sugar content. I think there's a couple of ways you can check to see if it's done. There's a hydrometer that you can check the bricks level. Uh, not sure what that unit really is, but uh, it also, you can boil until it's at, I think, 219 degrees. Um, I think either would work okay. I did the 219 degrees last year on the little bit that I did. Um, I don't know, I do have a hydrometer now. My brother let me borrow, so... We'll see which route we end up going. I may uh, check both, I guess. So we'll uh, check back in when I start adding some more sap.
time to add a little. back up and boiling pretty quick. All right, day two of boiling. Not that two was necessary, but changed my setup location. Was over here on the table. We're gonna use the table saw. Um, I got, so I got two gallons of straight up sap left to, uh, to get boiled down. I just wanna get it down to a concentrate so I can freeze it and I think rather than trying to bottle just like a pint of what I'm gonna get out of this I'll get it down to a nice concentrate save it I'll freeze it and then next week you know after we collect sap this weekend uh, we'll just add that to the concentrate that we've got and boil it all down and finish and bottle it all at once um, so I'm gonna get that going here in a little bit uh, the other thing I'm going to do, so I got this slab of, I'm pretty sure it's soft maple. I don't, I can't remember. It's been a while since I cut this, but um, I cut this on my mill, man, almost two years ago now. Just been kind of floating around. But I've got this cone filter for the sap. You, uh, you got to filter it again before uh before bottling it or you filter it period before bottling it um so i want to build a stand to hold this thing up you got these little loops on the uh, you know the four quadrants of this thing so i want to hold hold it up in the air and be able to put a pot underneath it basically to be able to dump the syrup in the top and let it drain out so yeah you know how a filter works uh, so what I think I'm going to do is use this slab of wood. I'm going to plane it down. Got my planer down there. We'll uh, plane it down, get it cut into, I don't know, probably like cut it into like inch and a half squares. And then I'm just going to build like a, basically like a cube structure. I'll see if I can find a picture of an example of what I want to make, but I'll... Uh, It'll just be a stand to hold that thing up. Like I said, so you can pour syrup in the top and, uh, you know, collect underneath it. So anyway, a lot of words to explain something kind of simple. But I'm going to get this uh, this boiling down for now. Uh, I don't, obviously don't want to run the planer <laughs> in here while I'm boiling sap and just get it full of sawdust. So we're going to get boiling now, and I think we'll start tomorrow um we'll get this thing planed up broke down into you know some square stock basically and then we'll we'll try our hand at doing some joinery it's going to be three pieces coming into a corner a vertical piece and two creating a 90 on top horizontally i've got a plan in mind if i uh remember i'll show you my little sketch but um I don't know, it won't be perfect, but it'll serve its purpose. These are the two bottles of, well, two gallons of uh, sap that didn't get boiled yesterday. I just, uh, I just threw them in the fridge just to help preserve the sap. 
probably would have been fine one night, but I just uh, don't want to risk it. This pan looks like it holds about a gallon and a half. At least that's as much as I want to put in it so it doesn't boil over. I'll crank the heat up, get it boiling, and like I said, we'll get this down to a concentrate and save it for next weekend. Today's actually quite a bit cooler. Yesterday we got up into the 60s. Today it's uh, it's like 35 out right now. So it'll actually be nice heating the garage a little bit with this. Can take care of some other things while we're out here. So, all right, we'll let that go. We'll check in a little bit. All right, well, today's day three in the garage. Not three days in a row. Got the fire going. Today's actually Friday, March 11th, and I'm coming out to get this, uh, I got the planer up on the bench, and we're gonna get this maple board planed down. Uh, hearing protection is definitely required for running this thing, it's loud. And, uh, well, we're just gonna jump right into the work. I took, took the day off from work today, uh, just to try to get this stand built. And, uh, you know, we'll be heading to camp tomorrow to check on the sap and everything. So, all right, let's get to it.
all planed out. I did not take it to the inch and a half thickness. I think I'm gonna wait. What do we end up on the scale here? I didn't have to go much further. Uh, we're just a little over inch and three quarter thick. According to that gauge anyway, I haven't actually measured it. Uh, but I think what I'm gonna do is go to like inch and three quarter rips on this thing too. I shouldn't measure. I, th I think I can get four four boards. I need to measure and plan that, but um, yeah, I just hope I, I think I got enough material even with some of these big knots and stuff, but I don't know. I'm really liking the way this thing looks. Let me get it spun around. This side has got a ton of character. With all the, the spalting, there's a lot of that dark colored staining. I, I don't know what it is, but it's kind of neat. I don't know. We even got a couple like little, little worm holes, or something. So I don't know. It's kind of neat. I think I think it'll turn out nice as long as I don't screw it up. But uh, all right, let's make a plan and we'll rip some boards. All right, so I did a quick measurement on this board. It's almost 10 inches wide. Uh, I think if I cut them at one and three quarter, I can get five total, you know, pieces of stock. Uh, I'm gonna set up the table saw for the inch and three quarter. Now, I, I hope nobody's coming here to like learn something. Uh, that would not be the right idea to think I know what I'm doing. Some of you might see what I'm doing and thinking I'm an idiot. You're probably right. But, uh, I don't know. I think I know just enough that I can cobble this thing together. We'll find out. Let's see how thick this thing was. It's about one and thirteen sixteenths thick right now. Uh, we're two inches high, so it should be plenty. Anybody else have the problem of having too much junk? This garage is bad. All right, let's see if we're plugged in. Yep. All right, let's rip a few. fresh blade. I'm sure this is all still just fine and dandy height wise. <clears throat> just crank her up a little bit. Good enough. This is a brand new blade. 
So we're going to run one through and see if the same thing happens or not. That should be good. Let's try another. All right, the new blade was way better. Still coming to a stop. But... <clears throat> that was definitely a big help. Um, I don't know, I think we got plenty of material here to work with now. And I am definitely gonna put this spalting on the outside if I can make that work. <clears throat> it looks really cool. You can see, I guess that staining might be part of the spalting. You can kind of see it come over the corner. And inside there, it's the dark. So I don't know if we're just ripping through some of that. I don't know. Either way, pretty damn cool to me. This one's just some really nice clean. We got a little spalting still. But, yeah, we got five pieces out of it, so I'm going to throw them through the planer, get them all down to an inch and a half. <coughs> Excuse me, a little dusty. And um, then we can start planning our cuts to build the, the box, I guess, whatever we want to call it, for the, the filter. Which we'll have to get some measurements off that filter to figure out how tall we need to make this and and all that type of thing so no sense keeping yapping keep working All right, they're all planed. Turned out pretty good. They're all down to inch and a half squares. Got some pretty awesome character and all this stuff. I mean, I know it's just gonna be a stand for holding a filter, but I don't know, it just seems kind of cool. We'll have to figure out how we want to finish it. I'm, I'm really tempted to just put polyurethane on it. No stain at all. I don't know. I know it'll change the tones a little bit. It should make everything pop. It should really bring out the grain and stuff, even without stain. So I think we're gonna end up cutting a piece off and testing that out, see how it looks. So, but now I gotta figure out how, well, tape measure. I gotta figure out how tall I wanna make this thing. I gotta let's put this out here so it wouldn't get all dusty. I got to 
You basically put a pan like that underneath. And this would go here, so it's going to be fairly tall. So I need to set you down so I can figure out that measurement. So it's probably going to sag a little. If I go from there up, that's 24 inches to where I got these. I might go taller because I might be able to put like a full quart cannon jar underneath. If I have a, like a small funnel type thing to catch how wide this is, because let's see. The bottom of this is like six, seven inches wide, so uh, we'll go a little taller. I'm at two and a half feet up here. That's 30, maybe about 32 inches bottom of legs to the very top of the frame. Yeah. I think that's what we'll do. And then I gotta figure out how big of a square is this thing gonna be. So if we have this thing hanging equal, you got your square here. How wide is it? Well, this would be across the flats of the box. I guess the box would come out here because I need each flat edge in the center to have a hook to hang these on. I think I'd rather do that than try to put a hook in the corners. So you want to know across the flats of the stand there to here looking at like 14 so I don't want to have to stretch this stuff to make it work yeah I think we're gonna go a 14 inch square by 32 inches tall sounds good to me 14 by 32 remember that for me Alright, we're going to square up some ends on the chop saw. We'll use one of these squared up end pieces. Throw a little polyurethane on to, to get a feel of how this stuff's going to look. But uh, let me see if I'm plugged in. <coughs> yeah. If anybody sees my coffee, point it out. It's in a white little thermos cup. I've lost it. I don't know how I lost it in this clean garage. I don't know. I've been looking for too long and now it just doesn't matter. All right, we got all the pieces cut out. Now is gonna be the tricky part, joining them, making sure we don't screw them up. I do have one whole extra board. I sketched out what I want the joint to be. I don't know how well it shows up, but I got it kind of color coded and it's gonna be a tricky joint especially for somebody that never done any of this stuff before. But with getting three pieces of wood coming to one point makes it a little... little... Alright, well I think it's going okay. Kinda see the joint form in here. Push it together now. 
fire square. Um, it's far from perfect, but it's turning out pretty good. So the square that's missing there, um, that's going to be a part that comes up from the the tall the leg. Like these, this is going to be the the hoop around the top. We'll have uh, our hooks in, on each of these sides to hold the filter. And Okay, so here's those last two pieces that we did, getting ready to fit this, uh, here's the little boss there, so that, I mean this, I'm putting it from the top here, but ultimately it'll be the leg going down, so that fits in there, and then uh, slide this one into place. tighten them up so I still got a little bit of massaging I got to do to tighten this up a little bit it's not terrible but I think I can I can make that a lot closer and then you know once we're ready to assemble the thing I'll I'll have to put some clamps on and you know we'll we'll glue every surface and it should uh, should hold up pretty well um, I got a lot more to do now this is just one corner I got three other corners and also the intermediate hoop that's going to go I don't know maybe halfway or something like that and then the leg will be going you know down to the ground here so I'll figure out the joint that I want to use for you know the the pieces coming in each side of this since down here the leg 
it's the very end so that little three quarter inch boss there is fine but up here you know where I work that other hoop in I don't think I want to remove all the material and just have one little three quarter inch square in the back I, I think I'm going to want to come up with a different type of joint to leave a little more meat since this is the leg and I don't want it to be able to break there so I don't know we'll uh we'll come up with something but I'm going to get the rest of these joints done first and then we'll come back and and figure out what we're going to do for the intermediate hoop all right just going to show you kind of what I come up with here so here we'll pop it apart so it's easy to see uh okay, all right so this is what we came up with pop it apart so you can see what it looks like here my main goal on the leg what this is is I wanted to have more meat here so I got a full width plus you know by three quarter so this thing isn't super weak so now I took the the connecting pieces here put this one in first three quarter of it slips in here and then this guy slips in here so now this makes up the same size box as what goes on top up here. So we'll just show and tell here until we're ready to glue. I gotta clean up edges and do all that, do a little massaging so they fit better, you know, fit together a little bit better anyway. So anyway, so that's that. I got, all I've got left to cut are three more legs with this groove and then all the cuttings done and then it's just going to be massaging any of these pieces that don't fit together real well I'm making sure I know exactly which one goes with which leg and which ends go together because ultimately they'll all be slightly different but you know our first cutting got them real close all right so I got rolling and just got it all glued together I pieced it together to make sure everything fit good and the joints are I will say mediocre we'll see how well they glue together but I don't know it's there it's all together it was a race trying to get glue on all these joints and get this thing put together because I felt like I was gonna run out of time thinking things were gonna dry up this is a top of this one I'd say this is one of the better ones this is probably the worst one you can see the gap there oh that part might not glue together great but it's too big of a gap to do whatever but it's probably the worst one this one's kind of hard to see but I don't know it's there I got straps around the two loops and then I did some clamps from the top to the bottom loop just to pull these pieces down against the leg did that on all four so I don't know we'll see we'll uh we won't need it tomorrow tomorrow I'm headed to camp to um check on sap and potentially boil if we have enough down there um, my brother said it was running pretty good down there right now so we might have something decent one issue we might run into they're calling for six to ten inches of snow tonight into tomorrow morning which I'm gonna get up and go tomorrow morning so we'll see how different it is down you know the hour and a half from here to camp but 
not a big deal. I don't mind the snow. I just, just makes it a little harder to get around while we're down there. So, all right. Well, this is, this is what we got for now. Um, I think I'm just going to end the video here. Got a little boiling. We got a little woodworking, I guess. Uh, we're using woodworking loosely, I guess, but I don't know. It, it's going to serve the purpose. I think it'll work. And, uh, next video will be us going down tomorrow, checking on the sap, boiling, and whatever else we get into while we're down there. So, all right. Well, thanks again for watching. We'll catch you on the next one.